Welcome to Wab Chef, and today we're going to do a delicious lobster chowder. Our ingredients are going to be a whole onion chopped, half a cup of butter, a handful of parsley chopped, about six garlic cloves, one tablespoon of dill, salt and pepper to taste, one can of baby clams, lobster meat from four can or lobsters, one cup of bite-sized scallops, two cups of evaporated milk, and four cups of chopped potato and carrots. We're going to start off by cutting our stick of butter in half and using the first half to saute our onions. When it comes to sauteing your onions, you want to cook them on a slow heat. You don't want to you don't want to cook them too fast. Let's put a pinch of salt and the salt's going to help bring out the flavors out of the onions. And we want to cook this slow, don't forget, cuz it'll give it a nice caramel texture to it. This looks good. There's nothing like the smell of caramelized onions. Okay, let's move on to uh, creating the first part of our broth. We're going to use uh, our chopped up uh, bite-sized potatoes and carrots here. Add your water. Basically what you want to do is just fill the pot with water until it's about an inch over the layer of your potatoes and carrots. We're going to put in the parsley but we're only going to put in half of it because we're going to use the other half for our seafood mix. And now our garlic cloves, salt and pepper, put in as, uh, as much as you want. Let's uh, stir it up and mix all those flavors into the uh, broth. We're going to put a cover on it and uh, let it cook for about 10 minutes or until the uh, potatoes and carrots are cooked. There's something that I want to add to this broth that I forgot to put in and it's the, uh, the liquid from the uh, baby clams, the canned baby clams. You don't want to throw that liquid away so let's put it in with the broth here. Oops, one clam's trying to get away here. We don't want him to fall into the soup. And uh, there you go. We're going to uh, get ready to prepare our, our seafood. So uh, let's mix that clam juice in with the broth here. And then we're going to uh, cover it up and uh, put it on another burner. And uh, get our frying pan out and uh, get ready to uh, prepare our seafood. Let's get that uh, second half of butter into the frying pan. When it comes to lobster chowder, or even any other seafood chowder. You can add any type of seafood you want. You can add shrimp, you can add fresh salmon, oysters, whatever you want, it's your personal preference. We have the uh, baby clam started here and now we're going to add our bite-sized scallops. Here's a segment on how to uh, get the meat out of your can of lobsters. I have some cooked canner lobsters here that I got at the uh, local grocery store and to test to see how fresh they are you pull back on the tail and if it bounces back you know your lobster is in good shape. So let's uh, break off the tail first. We're going to break it off here right where the body is. Twist and pull and there you go you got some nice meat that comes out especially here at the end and now we're going to pull the legs off you grab it by the joint at the body and twist and pull again. I'll show you where the uh, tamale is. It's located right here inside the body and it's green and I love it. But today we're not going to use it in the chowder so uh, we're just going to uh, get rid of it. Okay we have our lobster parts here and I'm going to show you how to get the meat out of the tail. So what we're going to do is squeeze it so it breaks down the center of the tail here. Squeeze it real good and you'll hear it crack. And then after it cracks you kind of want to pull it apart now. 
pull it apart. Whoops, a little slippery here. Keep prying until you can uh, pull the meat out of the shell. And there you go, a nice big chunk of lobster tail meat. Let's move on to the uh, claws now. We want to remove the arm from the claw, so let's just break it at the joint. And then we're going to use our uh, kitchen shears to cut open the, uh, the arm. Cut along the uh, crease of the upper and lower part of your arm. And uh, there you have it, your two halves of your arms. Let's get the, uh, the meat out. And now for the claw, there's a little cartilage that's connected to this part of the claw. So basically what you want to do is kind of twist and pull and try to pull it out cleanly. There you go. Take your claw and cut yourself a little door. Cut along the crease. Oops, one more cut to do here. Pull it open. And now you have access to your meat. Comes out so easily. We're going to add some uh, salt and pepper to our uh, baby clams and uh, scallops here. And now for the star of our show, the lobster meat. We're going to add our dill and the rest of our chopped parsley. Mix all those flavors into the seafood. It doesn't take seafood very long to cook, so we're just going to put the cover on it and let it cook for about uh, a minute or two. This looks really good. This is going to be an awesome lobster chowder. Let's get this onto the back burner so we can bring our uh, broth that's cooking onto the uh, front burner here. The broth is looking pretty good. Let's uh, shut it off and uh, let the broth simmer down a bit here. We have a nice beginning to our uh, lobster chowder. A nice broth here with the uh, cooked carrots and, and potatoes. Let's uh, add our seafood here to our uh, lobster chowder soup. Let's mix all the flavors together here. I'm going to turn our stove back on to uh, start our final phase of this lobster chowder soup. Here it is, the magic potion that brings all these wonderful flavors together. Two cups of evaporated milk. You only get about a cup and a half out of a can of uh, evaporated milk. So uh, add some milk to your uh, evaporated milk to get the two cups of cream for your lobster chowder soup. You don't want to cook the soup too fast or too high because uh, that's going to make the cream curdle. So uh, let's put the cover on it and just uh, bring it to a light boil. This smells delicious. Let's uh, bring it to a simmer and then we'll serve it. The herbs and the butter like to bunch up so uh, give it a good stir so it all spreads out before you serve it. And there you have it, lobster chowder, enjoy.